Erev Tov, I'm Stephen Benuni. You're watching Israeli News Live. The exit polls have, or the polls have closed in Israel, and uh, Netanyahu is already declaring victory in the race, uh, but yet the race is extremely close. Uh, it is very close and very difficult to tell at this point for sure if Netanyahu has won. I know that Yahoo.com is also reporting that Netanyahu has, has, has won, uh, that is Yahoo News and uh, some other mainstream medias are reporting that he has won. But uh, uh, Israel National News, that's Arut Shiva, they have not announced either themselves as of yet. Herzog says the Likud celebration is premature. Uh, so yes, I, I'm very uh, cautious, uh, optimi optimistically cautious ourselves because we have uh, stood with Netanyahu for this particular election, seeing that it is clear that uh, in his candidacy, at least to what he has pledged, that there will be no dividing of the land, there will be no two-state solution, uh, and if he is holding true to his word, then to vote for him would be the safest alternative. Herzog and Livni would definitely divide Israel more and uh, only bringing Joel's chapter 2's prophecy more to pass. We will continue to watch this this evening to see exactly uh, what uh, the outcome will be. And the final voter turnout, 71.8% of registered voters in Israel, which is nearly 6 million registered voters in Israel, actually went to the polls. That is a, uh, an amazing turnout. Uh, you, you definitely don't see this in American polls at all. It's just a very small fraction of voters vote in America. Uh, but uh, they had an amazing turnout. It is very serious, very important election, and uh, and and so we are hoping that it is optimistically that it is Netanyahu that has won. As I will say again, Netanyahu's campaign is declaring victory. Uh, uh, Horzog uh, is saying that Likud is uh, premature in their celebrations, and so no doubt there is going to have to be a final tally and a final count to see exactly who did one who did win the election. I'm Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live. Shalom.